Hello and welcome to Tunotronics Garage in Bangalore. This is their pride and joy Apex car, the 1000 bhp Audi RS6. Soham has been lucky enough to review it and if you want to check that out, hit the link right here. But let's be completely honest, this is a very exotic car and it is very unattainable for most of us. So what if you want something from Tunotronics that is still balls out and has that reliability factor that you could drive every single day, no problem at all. Come down a couple of ranks from Audi's 6 lineup from the RS6 down to the A6 3 litre TDI and you can get something that's pretty fantastic from Tunotronics itself. This baby is a stage 3 Audi A6 3 litre TDI and it pushes out 420 bhp and 800 newton meters of torque. This is definitely a sleeper and it is right up my alley since I own a 3 litre TDI myself. So let's just go out and see what it's like because I cannot hold it. What I love about this generation of A6 is that anytime you can just pass it off as any regular 2 litre TDI or even 3 litre TDI A6, all of them look absolutely the same and they just basically look like a dad car, which I think I, it's starting to grow on me lately. A keen eye will notice that the optional extra alloys look very nice, but if you have an even keener, geekier eye, you will notice this. The lack of clearance from the upgraded brakes. Now the rotors are 355 mm big and you've got a two piston uh, caliper. So the stopping power is significantly increased uh, in the front, which will always be very nice. And in terms of upgrades and aesthetic upgrades, there have been none apart from one single one in the back. While the front remains discreet and super sleeper, the rear end gets quite busy and I really enjoy it. Uh, since you've got the larger set of mufflers in the back, the owner decided to go for the S6 style uh, diffuser, which looks very sporty, very mean, very nice. And a subtle lip spoiler in the back. Now, you can argue that this car is going to be gapping quite a lot of people. So, you rather give the people you're gapping a nice view to look at. And you might hate to see her go, but you love to see her leave, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh. What seems like a very unassuming engine bay is actually extensively worked on. The air intake has been upgraded. It's a full exhaust system now with a resonator and a muffler. The turbo now is a custom turbo from Tunotronics and it is massive. It has also been tuned for mid-range and top end, which is very un-diesel-like, which makes this a very petrol-like car to drive because it's just going to be so linear. and. Uh, the other things that have been done to it are upgraded injectors, an upgraded intercooler and it has also got an upgraded fuel pump for that extra bit of oomph in terms of fueling. It sounds fantastic and there are a lot of differences from the Gen 1 uh, to the Gen 2 3 litre TDI. My car, the A4, is a Gen 1 3 litre TDI and the timing chain and all of that stuff was rather rudimentary. It had a lot of plastic bits that uh, need a lot of maintenance. This in fact has replaced quite a lot of uh, those plastic bits into metal, making it a more robust uh, timing chain system that completely eradicates uh, that issue that you would have uh, before with the timing chain being replaced and all of that stuff, which makes this a much more reliable car. Now, enough said about the block. Time to sit in it and take it for a spin. The Audi A6, despite its age of nearly a decade, remains as contemporary as the newer cars available in the market today. The 3.0-litre TDI engine option offered with this car makes it one of the biggest steel deals available for purchase in the second-hand market. 
In its stock form, the car offers an excellent driving experience and its diesel engine ensures that it provides satisfactory fuel economy. As a luxury car, the Audi A6 had a price tag of approximately 55 lakhs when it was first introduced. However, today you can purchase a pre-owned vehicle for around 10 to 15 lakh rupees, which represents significant value proposition. Furthermore, the interior of the Audi A6 is of exceptional quality and is consistent with Audi's reputation. The inside of this A6 is rather no-nonsense, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad place to be in. The leather is fantastic. It is showing a little bit of its age with stretch marks, but you'd expect that from a car of this age. And in terms of tech and fit and finish, it's all fantastic. In fact, uh, the owner has uh, opted for an uh, aftermarket Android system, which does a very good job, and it still has the same mechanism as the stock one, which is a nice touch. The steering wheel is now an S-line steering wheel with a flat bottom very good to feel and the interior overall is very easy to use something that i also enjoy in my a4 is that all of the buttons are very close to your resting hand so all that the infotainment uh, requires you to do and all of the things that you want to do to the infotainment system is very easy to do in just without looking at it either because you just memorize the buttons very easily once you own the car Apart from that, you've also got a semi-digital cluster right in front of you to get you all of the information that you actually need and you can use the steering wheel buttons to uh, command this uh, cluster in front of you, which is very nice. And you've also got uh, an old-school analog speedometer and tachometer. So it is very easy to not look inside the interior and focus on driving, which is something Audi has been doing very well. Now before you expect something like an animal that is difficult to handle and something that is going to absolutely wreck your nervous system in terms of comprehending what's going on, it's not that. This is a very subtle car and even the power upgrade is delivered in a very robust manner. You're not going to be astounded by the amount of power that it makes. This car is meant to be an absolute barnstormer. It is supposed to be comfortable in really, really high paces. And as I said before, the turbo spool is very linear. So now it's up, further up in the rev range, not like any other diesel that requires all that torque in the beginning. This is super linear, making that curve very, very straight compared to something that tapers to the top and then starts bottoming out towards the top. In all honesty, driving the car is not about the power, it's actually about how versatile it is at any certain scenario. If you're in the highway like I am on nice road right now, flip a couple of gears and even pushing it, the car stays so planted. The chassis is very, very firm, but the air suspension just irons out each and every little small bump in the road, making it a very planted ride. So it stays flats in the corners. Yes, you will feel quite a lot of body roll since it is a heavy car. But when you are actually pushing the car, it stays taut. So you are not afraid of reaching that limit, making this a very accessible car to drive. Now I am in sport mode. And when I put it in manual, one thing that I really notice is that DL501 working over time. It's got a TCU tune as well, since it is pushing so much more power. And that tune is, in fact, very impressive because it just does not feel intrusive. There have been a lot of cars that you've driven with DCTs that will feel a bit too snappy, a bit too aggressive. And that for a DCT owner sometimes can feel like, oh, something is going wrong. Ooh, something is breaking. No, over here, it is still snappy but the shift is just so smooth that on the way down, on the way up, it's non-intrusive, making it such an easy car to just... There is no... There's basically no hiccups during those shifts. There is no form of imbalance. And this is just such a relaxing car to drive, even at high pace, making this a really good proposition for people who want to drive long distances but still have fun while doing it. And when it comes to 
upgrades yes the car is expensive the platform is expensive and things will cost money but compared to the power that it's making and what you're going to be competing with it's right up there it's not going to be something that you might be afraid of spending at given the extra reliability that comes from these gen 2 3t 3 liter tdis this is a very reliable block and since this is developed by tot you can get that extra peace of mind because these guys take reliability very seriously i have been thrashing this car around for quite a while now and i was pretty aggressive with uh pushing while doing the flybys and a little bit of the extra action shots that you've seen but it hasn't dropped in any form of temperature iats are still in control the mileage is still the same which is an ode to how well this car is built so if your dad gives you a lend me down a6 3 liter tdi bro you've got an amazing platform to build yes it's going to cost you a little bit of money but you will be very very satisfied if you have the chance definitely drive a 3 liter tdi which is always a very fun car to drive but if you get to tune it and if you get to experience what an upgraded turbo like this one can do you might be addicted to it very quickly because the way this power is delivered is so petrol like that you just forget that you're driving a diesel car and that is something that's very impressive if you'd like to know a bit more about the car or uh know about the draggy times and all of that stuff do check out tot's instagram you will get a lot of information of a lot of cool cars that they build they are based from bangalore and they do a lot of stage 3 cars that drive perfectly fine and these guys also road trip to any form of drag strip for any event do the drag strip and road trip it back with no problems at all which is very impressive if you'd like to know more about tot and their builds do check them out on instagram shout out to vivek for being such a nice guy and helping us out so much in bangalore and uh, shout out to shubho for letting me drive his prize possession that's it from my end do let us know what are your thoughts on this stage 3 a6 and what more would you like to know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching it's been your boy bhavneet i'll see you guys in the next one uh -huh.